hypnotic channel found something absolutely fascinating. He found one of the very sweet baby people and their history as far as making video games because they're working on the next Black Panther game. It was Dating Simulator. Now, something I've noticed about... Okay, there's... A lot of these triggered people, these perpetually triggered, uh, usually plumpies, they usually uh, have a history of mental, they typically are unattractive, um, or mid at best. You see this with almost all of the uh, uh, witches of uh, Gamergate originally, they were mid at best, and they became plumpers pretty quickly. And so something that needs to be understood about this is these, to be an art student like most of them probably were, or marketing or art, um, or, you know, that just, that the, it was a bonfire of money, that their parents threw a bonfire of money. And so th these are connected people. They have money. They're middle class people. They're, they probably have some parent's friend who's helping, you know, get them connected. But the beautiful part about what, what this was is that d dating simulator, this was exposed everything about this person's inner workings of their mind. That it was how do you get unattractive, overweight, you know, this unattractive, overweight black chick um, who dresses weird, uh, according to the way that she was showing it, kind of dressed weird, um, able to attract good looking um, felt athletic black men. That was that was what the game kind of seemed to be about. Um, remember, Zoe Quinn had Depression Quest, the game that w was never, it could never be qualified quite as a game. I mean, I think Zork. Yeah, Zork. Yeah, I think Zork had more visuals than this game. Um, so. Uh, the thing that uh, I started to think about with this was I was like, yeah, these are these are people that it, it, you keep detecting this, especially when they argue. They they there's a level of a maturity they've just never passed. They've never gotten. They they're probably clever, but not really that smart. So they, and there's a level of maturity they've never reached. So they when they try to make their arguments, they they just have to kind of depend upon something that they heard a friend say. That really seems to be the best they've got. Um, it, it, you know, light readers, uh, choosy eaters, picky eaters, um, kind of personalities. And they, they have to get into these consultation uh, positions because they can't make the games. And it's now it's starting to show, like, what kind of mentality these people have been on the kind of the outside of cool how they consider themselves on the outside of things um but in a way that's not it's not the anti-hero like logan you know who's outside of things <laughs> it's not fonzarelli <laughs> it's something very different and uh and and so yeah, I, I'm. So DHS money is going to this, and I bet if we look into it more, it turns out then some money that had to do with fundamentally fighting extremism online, and then guarding mental health for community. A lot of that word again, community, 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 pops up in a lot of the stuff that was being read about it. So this is the beauty of that now. And in, in kind of considering it. So this is fundamentally shockingly similar to something like an MK Ultra operation. That these consultation groups are funded by NGOs. The NGOs are funded by the Department of Homeland Security and other spooky and glowy uh, uh, departments of our government. To then make these video games that what they do and, you know, is they, it's, oh, no, no, you can't get financing if you don't write the games the way we want you to write the games. So it's, and, and, and then, oh, yeah, you know, too bad. 
too bad you had a great studio there once. Too bad you had a company once. You know, as they sink company after company after company. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated by, like, how, what, what we're going to... This has already exposed itself. These people didn't have to react the way they did. They did react the way they did. And now, it's more and more we're going to start seeing, like, oh, so what kind of pull do these people have? You know, like, what is this Department of Homeland Security looking after the mental health of plumpies online? What is that? What, where did that come from? Why, why does that exist? You know, what is this the extremist video gamer, um, you know, like, department or whatever, you know, subsection of the FBI or something that, you know, that... And, and then it's... Because this, again, starts to dovetail with the fact that if you're using your credit card, that the government is actually requesting information from your bank if you buy an entire list of normal goods. If you buy a Bible with your credit card, the government right now is putting you on a list. This is fascinating. All right, later on.